After months of delays, the day of the Baron's trial had finally arrived, and there was a lot riding on it. His whole future, in fact. Well, this is it. The day I've been waiting for and dreading. I think it has to go your way, Baron. Justice is on your side. Justice might be, Sophie, but that doesn't mean the court would be. In which case, I'll go to prison and lose my castle. Well, in which case, we'll appeal, right? Yeah, and, and keep on appealing. Until the truth comes out and the right verdict is given. Baron. Ah, Miss Kenny. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Hi. Hope you're ready for a long, hard fight. This trial could take days, you know. Ah, don't worry. The von Arsenberg family has a proud tradition of fighting against the odds. Ah, oh, excellent. We have reason to be hopeful, then. Uh, sadly, no. Mostly, we lose. Mr. Von Hasenberg has been charged with money laundering, Your Honor. Large sums of Kuzburi currency were transferred into his account on the following dates. Yes, yes, I have looked through all the documentation. Then you understand the seriousness of this crime, Your Honor. There's nothing to prove he sent the money to Australia. Nothing to prove that he opened the bank account. Your Honor. And nothing to prove he was going to engage in money laundering. Surely you're not suggesting that And we... as a consequence, I'm throwing the whole thing out. Mr. Von Hasenberg. You are free to go. Case dismissed. That's it? That's over? It appears so. <laughs> <laughs> Baron usually faints when he gets excited. You're joking! That's unbelievable! He won! Oh! I can't believe it! The nightmare is finally over. And after all his deception and plotting, Herman won't get his grubby hands on the castle after all. I knew you were innocent from the first time I saw you. Really? Yeah, those money launderers are really smart. Financial whiz kids. You're just not in their league. Oh. There you go. You're a free man again. <sighs> At last. Now you won't set off the supermarket's alarm every time you walk in. There's your passport. Thank you, Sergeant. For everything. Sorry to say it, but I'm glad we won't be seeing you back here again. <laughs> <sighs> my first oxygen as a free man. How does it feel? Like I've got my life back. Excuse me, are you Philip von Hasenberg? Yes. I've got a package for you. Could you just sign here for me? More socks and underwear from Lily, no doubt. <laughs> At least you won't need to get any more of those. <laughs> no. Thanks. Police, hold it there. What? what? Just give me the package and keep your hands where I can see them. Uh, what's this about, officer? Asbury Cronkis. Half a million by the look. You're gone, buddy. Hello, Sergeant. Oh, Phil, mate. Couldn't you even manage to stay away from here for more than two and a half minutes? Sergeant, charge this man with receiving foreign, foreign currency in excess of $10,000. Didn't even have time to put it away. The next day, Sophie tried to keep the Baron busy so he wouldn't think about his situation. But it's not easy to concentrate when you've got a trial hanging over your head. Again. Here, yeah, you might as well keep the box. Would you prefer if I did the rest by myself? Sorry, Sophie. Good morning, Baron. You! There's no way to greet an old friend. I can think of many ways to describe you, Martin. Old friend is definitely not one of them. As you wish, but I advise you to hear me out. Nothing you have to say is of any interest to me whatsoever. Now, please be on your way. Certainly, but not before I tell you I have been sent here by powerful interests. Hm. Powerful interests? Is that what Herman calls himself these days? You have two choices. First, you can continue to fight, in which case you'll receive more Cosbori cash. In such large amounts, you will definitely go to jail this time. And my second choice? Simply sign the castle and your title over to Herman today. 
and all your troubles will vanish. You can go back to Germany, a free man. Naturally, he'll ensure that you and Lily are well provided for financially. It's your only hope. You can threaten me all you like, but I will never agree to Herman's demands. You have made a bad choice, Baron. Luckily, my superior is a very understanding man. He will give you 24 hours to consider his offer. Call me if you come to your senses. Not another one. Unbelievable. There must be nearly a million Kronkers in here. Shouldn't we take it to the police? No. They'll just add it to the evidence against But maybe we could explain it to them. They wouldn't listen. Promise you won't tell Lily about this. She's been through enough already. I promise. I think it's best if you hide it. Just till I work out what to do, OK? But please don't tell Lily this. Philip made me promise. OK, I'm just not sure what we can do about it from here. Any ideas? Uh, well, um, if, if we can work out who sent the packages, we might be able to link them to Herman. I've checked them thoroughly. There's nothing to indicate who sent them. Not even a stamp or a postmark? Not that I can see. Don't courier packages usually have a consignment number on them? That's right. Uh, look for a number. Sophie. Is this what you mean? That's it. If you take that to the courier company, they should be able to tell us who sent it. Tracking down the company will take some local knowledge, though. Luckily, we know a couple of people who are always ready to help. OK, well, according to the map, Kapow Couriers should be right there. Strange to see a uh, courier company selling lawnmowers. OK, then, Smarty Pants, it must have moved, right? Wrong. What? And they say males are better at reading maps. As if. Come on. Just let me do the talk, OK? OK. Hey, bro, what's up? Can I help you? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I've got this uh, package number, and I just need the info on the person that sent it. Sorry, pal, we don't really give that out to any bozo who walks through the door. Hey, well, I'm, I'm not a bozo. A matter of opinion? Look. OK, this is very important. This, this could be life and death. Cool. So go get the police and I'll be happy to help. Otherwise, go play in the traffic. I'll handle this. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Great music. Mutant marsupials are just awesome, aren't they? You know their stuff. Sure, I've been a marsupial head for years. Their new album's just genius. Not everyone has the taste to appreciate it. A joke. He's not your boyfriend, is he? Uh, him? Uh, <laughs> no, no. He's just some weirdo I met on the street and said he wanted to help me out. Thanks, Nigel. I see you around, OK? Listen, can you just help me out here? I really need to find out who sent this. Nigel? Nigel. I think it suits you. you. They got it! The parcel was sent by the Kasboristan Export Corporation. From Kasboristan? No, from their office in Hamburg. Great! We'll pay them a visit first thing tomorrow. Hamburg, here we come. <laughs> Hamburg? Why are you going to Hamburg? Oh, uh, we're gonna go do some shopping, that's all. Y yeah, <laughs> um, check out the sales. Ben too? I thought you hate shopping. Uh, yes, usually I do, but there are some great surf shops in Hamburg. Surf shops? Hamburg's miles from any surf. True, but you can surf on the river. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the latest fad, apparently. OK. It's big. Well, have fun. Um, what was that address, Sam? 502 Roland Strasser. But I think we'll have to take the bus. Not necessarily. Why not? Another form of transport seems to have suddenly become available. Uh, Lily! 
Walter. What are you doing in Hamburg? You're all such hopeless liars. I knew that you were up to something, so I rang Sophie and got the whole story from her. We're so sorry, Lily. Your father didn't want us to worry you. I know, but if you're trying to help Daddy, I don't want to be left out, okay? Okay. Right, jump in. Walter can drive us. the right address? It should be. That doesn't look a lot like a company office to me. Excuse me, we're looking for the office of the Kasporosan Export Corporation. But this looks more like a cafe. Well, it looks like a cafe because it is a cafe. It's been a cafe for 40 years. OK. Sorry to have bothered you. If you want the Kosporistan Export Corporation, it's downstairs. Some office. Does anyone ever come here? Hardly ever. I just got a check in the mail for the monthly rent. Is there a company name on the rent checks? I mean, a different company name? Maybe. But if you want information, you'll have to give me something in return. What kind of something? Buy some bratwurst. I haven't had a customer since last Thursday. Oh, so disgusting. Oh, I bet they've been sitting in there for the past week. Taste them. They're delicious. You guys are way too fussy. Then you're welcome to have mine. Mine too. And mine. Cool. Okay, the name on the rent checks was Nes Belgian Incorporated. We'll need to do a company search on the details. Mm. Are you sure you guys don't want to try some of this? Oh, Ben, how could you? Final offer. This is the last one. Oh, thank goodness for that. Mm, bad news, guys. What is it? The office of Nes Belgian Incorporated is in the Cayman Islands. Mm. We can hardly go knocking on their door. So it's a dead end? Looks like it. Wait a minute. Why don't you just find out who owns Nes Belgian? Uh, because I can't trace the ownership of companies in the Caymans. No, but if it's owned by a German company, then you could just trace it in reverse, can't you? It's worth a try. Good thinking, Sam. As it happened, the owner of Nes Belgian Incorporated was a German company. Manor Holdings, to be precise. My brilliant hunch paid off. Their office is at number 42. Which is just about here. A building site? Well, I guess there's no point knocking on that door either. I'm um, sorry, Lily. This time it really is a dead end. There must be some way to find out who owns this site. Well, there is, but we'll need lawyers to do a proper company search. It could take days before they get to the end of the trail. And Daddy only has 24 hours. Uh, make that more like 15. I guess that's it then. Oh, hang on, guys. I'm actually feeling a bit uh, queasy. Oh, really? Nothing to do with eating four bratwurst passe used by date, is it? I just really hope that thing is unlocked. Uh, hey, Marcus, is this any use? Hmm? What is it? No, nothing. Just an invoice for the high of the Patsalu. Wait! Look who it's made out to. Hasbro Capital? It's Herman's company. He must own this site. Which means he owns this company. No, he owns all the companies. We've got him. I think it's time we paid Uncle Herman a visit. Definitely. Uh, guys, I think we might have to wait a minute. It's Lily von Hasenburg. I'd like to speak to my Uncle Herman, please. I'm terribly sorry. He just left. Goodbye. Hello? <sighs> Great. He hung up. What's that? Quick! Uncle Herman? Lily! 
really? What a delightful surprise. Unfortunately, I'm in a bit of a rush, This so... won't take long. We know you sent those packages of money to Daddy. I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. There's no point pretending. We've traced back the packages through the whole chain of companies. Haven't we, Marcus? That's right. Hasbro Capital, which owns Manor Holdings, which owns Nest Belgian Incorporated, which owns the office rented out to the Kosporistan Export Corporation. From which the passes of money were sent to Daddy. Congratulations. But it won't do you any good. Yes, it will. Because if you don't call off this outrageous frame-up, then we're taking everything to the police. Go ahead. What? What the Kosburistan Export Corporation does is their business. It's nothing to do with me. But they were acting on your orders. They had to be. And you can prove that. Can you? If you try to claim I was behind this, I'll take the greatest pleasure in suing you for slander, libel, and anything else I can think of. And... I'll win. Now, would you please tell your cousins to step aside? I'd hate to run over them. They might scratch my car. Please tell me he hasn't beaten us, Marcus. He hasn't beaten us. Yet. But he's right. We still have no incriminating evidence to link Herman with the packages in Australia. So, what do we do? Well, if it's incriminating evidence that you guys want, why don't you just do what they do on the cop shows on TV? It always works. Okay, one more go round, and I think we'll be there. All right, Baron, you are wired for sound. Hmm. You're sure this will work? Well, theoretically, yeah. The radio mic picks up conversation, then sends it to that box over there. Where we will record the whole thing. And do I have to do anything special? Just make sure you speak clearly. Oh, uh, and try to stand as close as you can to the other person, just so the mic picks them up properly. Got it. Yeah. Ben was right. It is like a TV show, huh? The undercover Baron. <laughs> oh, we... oh. Testing. Testing. No, oh, wow, well, that, that is loud and clear. Shh, he's coming. Baron, so very glad to hear you have seen sense at last. Uh, yes, but before I sign, I have a few questions. Go ahead. Uh, first, how is Herman going to make all these charges go away? That's Hermann von Hasenburg of 15 Moritzstrasse, Hamburg. It's very simple. Uh, wait. I can't hear you. You can't? No, old, uh, holo injury. <laughs> I see. That's better. Now go ahead. You know, it's very hot. Perhaps we should go somewhere cooler to talk. It's weird. Well, what's happening? Well, either they've stopped talking or there's something wrong with the reception. Let's hear it. Come on. Are you getting anything? I'm definitely getting something, but I have no idea what. Is this far enough? Perhaps a little further. I'm very hot. If I didn't know better, I'd say the microphone was underwater. You'd better come and take a look at this. Oh, terrific. Well, there goes my radio mic. And our whole plan. Yeah, the, the plan too. That's enough of the questions. It is now time to sign. I left the documents on the shore. Uh, wait, I've changed my mind. What? I've decided not to sign. You're a fool, Baron. And you can expect more packages when you get out. So, in spite of our best efforts, which, let's face it, proved to be 100% totally ineffectual, the next morning, Philip was back in court. But this time, we knew it would take a minor miracle to save him. Your Honour, as you can see by exhibits A, B, C, D and E, Mr von Hasenberg has received millions in foreign currency obviously intended for the purposes of money laundering. These packages total over 3.8 million Kuzburi Kronkers. Well, how much is that in dollars? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, Your Honour, but clearly it's a very substantial amount. Mm. Clark, could you calculate the exact amount, please? Certainly, Your Honour. I'll just check the exchange rate. Why haven't we 
heard anything. Lily, it's only been going 15 minutes. Yeah, lawyers take that long to introduce themselves. And Sophie said she'd call as soon as there was anything to tell. Oh, I know, I just can't take the suspense. Clark, what is the problem? It seems because Buristan is undergoing a period of extreme hyperinflation. Oh, well, I don't need a report on the Kuzburi economy. Just tell us how much 3.8 million Kronkers is worth. It seems like it's $23.41. Are you sure? So now it's $23.35. Uh, no, sorry, 33 cents. You can't be serious. If the case goes on much longer, it won't be worth anything at all. Detective! What possessed you to charge this man when he'd only received $23 uh, and... It's $22.90 now, Your Honour. Whatever! Clearly, it was a negligible amount of foreign currency. The court would like to know why you have wasted its time on such a ludicrously trivial matter. Um, we're sorry, Your Honour. We, we had no idea. Obviously! Now, Mr. Von Hassenberg, once again, you are free to go. <laughs> yes! Thank you so much, Your Worship. <laughs> oh, no, the Baron! Oh. No, 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 it's quite all right. Thank you. I'll be perfectly fine this time. <laughs> oh, he's down. Oh, he won! It's really over. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Excuse me, are you Philip Von Hassenberg? I suppose I am. Sign here, please. I think you're safe, Baron. Even if it's a billion cronkers, it'll barely pay for the bus home. <sighs> Can someone else open this? I'm just done. No, I'm. Oh, uh... I will. Socks and underwear. It's from Lily. <laughs> I'll never criticize her packages again. Oh, that reminds me. I have about half a million cronkers that I was hiding for you, remember? Oh. Since it's Herman's money, I think we should use it to celebrate. Hey, great. Hey, so, <laughs> hey um, if we do this in the bank, how much do you reckon we can get for it? Oh, let me check. Um, $4.70. Oh, wait. No, $4.65. <laughs> Quick, if we hurry, we might be able to afford an ice cream to share. Oh, can we get chocolate? I like vanilla. Oh.